What is going on guys, Wiser here, and I'm coming to you with One Hive Labs next Fix My Mess Cleanup episode. Uh, this one's sort of an interesting one. Uh, like I usually try and do with these cleanup episodes, I try and have a little bit of a theme or a thought process to why I picked this one. Um, this one I picked um, mainly because it it, it was a, a, a decent plan, I guess, but I don't even think it really had a hope in the end for some some reasons i'm going to explain in a minute however because no matter because it, it was executed i was still able to pull the information i needed uh to ensure we got the three star um so let's just jump over and check out death hopper's plan here uh you know has a really good idea on paper uh if you look at the troop comp it is a standard shattered lalo now, as I hope you guys, anyone who watches my video, talk about this all the time. The goals of a standard Shattered Lalo comp with your kill squad, meaning your two golems and your wizards and your heroes, um, the goal of those units is to take care of three major things. The first thing being the defensive arch queen. The second thing being the clan castle troops. And the third thing being, assuming you've brought two golems and three lava hounds, is to get two air defense. So if you look at the way this base is set up, the idea Death Hopper has here is to go in, create a funnel on this side, jump over, get his heroes in there, um, take care of, maybe even rage them up there, uh, and take care of the air defense one and air defense two. Now, to me, if I was making planning this first hit, I would never think just two golems and five wizard with my heroes, especially think if there's, which there happens to be, a lava hound in the CC or a golem. Um, it's going to slow things up so much with the elixir storage, dark elixir storage, and the clan castle there. I would not bet ever I would get that air defense, the second one, meaning I don't have enough lava hounds to execute the rest of this air attack. So that's what I was talking about that I don't think really in the end, I didn't ever had eyes on this plan. Um, you know, I just, I don't think even though it was a good thought, I don't think it ever had a chance. However, the information I gained from this attack definitely helped me make the three star in a huge, huge way. So we're gonna watch this play out for death hopper so the goal is to drop these golems on this side create this funnel jump over this intersection to get the queen and get access to those air defense um so the first mistake here is this <clears throat> these two wizards uh when i did the the check i knew these this archer tower was going to target these wizards so that meant to me, if you actually look, the gold storage here, um, I'm pretty sure if you place perfect minions on the gold storage, they would be out of that arch tower range. But at the very least, two minions on this one elixir pump is really what the key difference was to this entry, at least. Even though I don't think even if this elixir storage went down and everything went to plan, because you're going to see this in one minute, how this ends up happening because this stuff does not go down. Uh, the wizards die too quickly. Uh, golems are in there now taking fire from that level 30 queen. So they're going down very quick. Here And here's, an, here's in my opinion, the next mistake. This jump is jumped over this intersection here. Now, um, that means the first access to get into this compartment is right where those golems are jumping. So you look, you draw a line right under those golems. Well, this... This stuff up here is closer um, is closer to the section where you're able to drop your troops than uh, than the jump spell. So it doesn't connect this gold storage right here. So even if you drop something up here, the next building closest the close next closest accessible building is not that gold storage. It is definitely that elixir pump, or if you dropped it too high, it would be that gold gold mine over there. Um, so, of course, watch what happens. Uh, the wizard ends up taking out, the, but the same kind, the same sort of theory holds true because that gold storage is not connected. Boom! That wizard tower goes down, 
Definitely that goal, that elixir pump there is closer for that king. King is now going to take a walk around. Golems are in there completely now shredded almost from uh, that level 30 queen beating on them for so long with no uh, no king in there to take her down. Finally, that queen is going to lock on, but the queen's going to take out the queen, have to rage it up here or use the ability up on, on her, and then gets locked up on this lava hound on the outside of the base. You can clearly tell at this point there is no chance that either of these air defense are going to go down never mind both of them um so yeah just a really tough raid for death hopper uh i think um the main the main points i i had mentioned just now um you know the jump spell i think was too far down uh obviously uh had some uh, executional errors or just whatever you want to call it uh the funnel did not happen your king walked and tough raid buddy so the things that I kind of took from that. Um, what was that? 13? Yeah. Were a few things. So, first of all, the clan castle. Well, it's a lava hound. So, immediately that means I probably don't need poisons. I could bring them for skeletons or, or heroes if I'm doing a walk or something or I'm using a lot of hogs. Uh, but a lot of times when I see a hound in a Town Hall 9 CC, my first inclination is to bring four earthquakes. Because as you'll see, with a jump and four earthquakes, you can essentially have access to almost the whole base. And the earthquakes, because they're permanent, um, you know, the jumps don't fade. If your queen gets held up on something like a lava hound, like mine does here, it doesn't matter because that's still going to be open afterwards uh, once she's done taking care of that and be able to walk up and help out with the raid. Um, you know, uh, uh, I'm bringing Valks as well. Um, as another inclination when I see a lab hound. A, because a hound doesn't do anything to Valks unless you let all the pups get free and chase them around. Um, a huge piece of your kill squad is your queen's DPS. So the whole purpose of a lab hound in the CC is to take that DPS off of the base and onto the, to have it hung up on something else other than defenses or structures so that it gives the golems time to die and the defense is time to target the queen instead. That's kind of the theory, obviously, the base theory of a lava hound. So with that being said, when you send in a bunch of Valks, you get that DPS you lose from your queen back. So you end up being able to push through the base um, as you would with say, you know, say it was all, say it was a dragon or say it was the super cheap units like archers and you just dropped a couple poisons and it continued on your queen didn't really lose any dps to anything um under a raid spell she's going to take out a big section of the base well so are valks but they're not going to get hung up on a lava hound because they obviously can't target a lava hound anyhow so quakes and valks is automatically what i think of when i see a lava hound so i'm like okay if i do the same entry but i just fix this little error of Okay, well, this, this um, I know for sure I can take down this elixir pump. I'm not 100% about that gold store, so I kind of try and drop it right on the line in between. And you'll end up seeing, I'm lucky I didn't drop them further over because I think they would have been targeted because the ones that kill this thing, one of them goes over and gets hit by the arch tower pope. Whatever. So I make a cleaner funnel. I drop my jump spell over top the wizard tower, not over top where he did. So I connect this gold storage as my crumb. For my Valks for everything, and you're gonna see how this plays out. I quake this, um, I get a jump spell, I kind of forget where that second jump goes down. Um, but then when I see that, so you look at this whole middle section of the base, if that's taken out, um, the next thing I know from Death Hopper's attack is there is a Tesla farm, one, two, three, all in a row, right here. So that means two things. I have 18 hogs left over after I bring this comp. So there's two spaces, two spots where the hogs are going to have to go. Right here by the town hall compartment and this corner compartment. Kind of down here as well. But the jump spell down here, I believe I believe the jump goes down here and unlocks all that. But uh, we'll see how it plays out. I kind of forget. Um, and over here, the Tesla farm. So I go heavy on the hogs on the entry to kind of try and take out all of this. Uh, and you're going to see how this plays out. And, and I just kind of sandwich the base with hogs. Everything meets up in the middle, finishes off at 6 o'clock. And it's Dunsies. So, minion goes down. Oh, yeah. I dropped the test minion. I was like, oh, man. 
So it was out of range even for a minion, or was in range for a minion. So I drop the rest and make sure that pump goes down. That's the biggest importance, important key to this funnel. See, the one even moves over and gets taken out by the arch tower. Right on the line, it's hard to tell. It's a weird angle too for the defense range. Earthquake is down. Everything's opened up. Here come those golems. So you see that it's already a larger funnel on that side. Now, because I put the jump where I put the jump, I can... I funnel off these buildings on the outside. I get a bigger funnel on the outside. Queen and king. I make sure that king goes right towards this stuff. Valk's right in on top of that. Boom. Sucked right in. So already a much better entry. Uh, wizards are in there doing work on the hound. Going to help out that queen. Queen's going to just follow the hound right into the into the base and get sucked right into all this, which I want. Because uh, the Valks are in there doing damage ahead of her. She is just going to continue to rip through that hound. Boom. Finally, get it to burst. Wizards are in there helping. Taking out those pups very quickly. And in come those hogs. I even had two Valks go in here, which was a surprise, which was great. Because they did a little bit of tanking for these hogs. Heal goes down, going to take care of those, no problem. I do lose three to a spring trap, but air defense down, Tesla's down. So now I just have the other side to go. So I send in the rest of the hogs. I think it was like six or eight, right on that expo, going to protect. Golemites are still in there doing tanking for uh, everything, right? So there's only this little bottom section of base to go. And there is one bomb, which makes my hogs pitter out here. And I was afraid of that because um, that was not revealed, obviously, in Death Opera's attack. Uh, so Boom, there goes that bomb. So I don't quite have enough to get through this cannon. Uh, but it's no big deal. There's a half health cannon, another cannon, and a mortar for my raged up king and my queen coming in from behind without an ability touched. Wizards and Valkyries up here doing cleanup. Wizard on the other side with that low hit point stuff. I could I told you right at this this point in time, this base is G G. I think I had a minute to go on this attack. That gold storage. Queen goes right up. And we're done. So that's kind of how I broke that down. You know, you, you, a lot of times you take a scout that really didn't go well. Thank you, Death Hopper, by the way. Um, <laughs> I know I didn't ask you if I could use that attack, but too bad. Um, it all happens to the best of us. Uh, you know, I've shown some serious fails of my own. Uh, and it's tough, right? We all have those attacks where it's just like, ugh, that didn't go to plan whatsoever. Um, however, you need to realize that sometimes, and a lot of the times, you are given the next guy um, all the information he needs to make the better judgments on the attack he should be bringing, and then he'll take it and three-star the thing like nothing. So uh, thanks, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that. I know you love these cleanup episodes. I'm going to keep trying and keep trying. Um, you know, had a lot of good content to go over. Uh, 2.0 is in the middle of the WHF war, and then we had this war. Uh, so a lot of good stuff, guys. A lot of good content on the way. Uh, that'll do it here, for though, for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree star. Until then. I'm out.